Signs are everywhere at all times. The universe is always constantly trying to make contact with us. babies welcome back to my channel I'm Leora Alexander if you're new welcome today we're going to talk about synchronicities or signs from the universe because I've gotten so many questions about synchronicities so I wrote a bunch of them down and I tried to answer the very general ones in this video so that it doesn't run an hour long but I know that there's going to be a lot more questions so please after watching this video leave your questions down below let me know if there's anything else I can talk about I plan on doing a whole series of synchronicity videos because there's so much to talk about. The way that the universe tells us that we are in tune or in harmony with whatever it is that we desire is by sending us signs or synchronicities. Synchronicities are uncanny coincidences or an unlikely occurrence of parallel events. In spirituality, we observe them as signs from the universe. So the original concept of synchronicity was first coined by Swiss psychologist Carl Jung, who defined the concept as a togetherness or connecting principle. Jung claimed that if things that seem to be meaningful happen to you with no apparent cause, they're actually meaningfully related. I love the story that he shared in his 1952 book, Synchronicity. He was a psychologist, so he had this patient who he called psychologically inaccessible. And that's because she was an overly rational person and he couldn't get to her and his method of treatment couldn't work for her. One day, the same patient was telling him a story about the dream that she had the night before, about how she was gifted a golden scarab, which was an expensive piece of jewelry. At the same time, Jung heard this tapping at the window. He turned around and at the window was this little scare beetle. It was the color of green gold. He let it into the room and he handed it to his patient and he said, here's your scarab. That super strange event poked a hole in this woman's exaggerated sense of rationalism. It was so unlikely that it shook up her perception of reality a little bit and ultimately led to her being able to be treated by Jung. In this story, two meaningful things happened with no apparent cause, but they had a meaningful relationship, meaning that this was a synchronicity and it was also a sign from the universe. So one reason why the universe sends us signs is to shift our egocentric thinking to a greater wholeness. Unlikely but meaningful occurrences give us a glimpse to the underlying workings of the universe. This reaffirms our belief and our faith that there is something greater at work in this world and that reality is not just the banality of daily life. The other more popular reason why the universe sends us signs is to prepare us to receive what we've been manifesting. Many people believe that the more often we notice these signs, the closer we are to achieving whatever it is that we were trying to attract. For example, let's say that you're trying to manifest a new car. So you asked for a new car from the universe, you visualized, you gave thanks, you've detached, and now you're ready to receive. Suddenly you start seeing this car everywhere, where before you never noticed it on the road, it's everywhere, it's in magazines, people are talking about it, you hear about it on the radio. Well, many believe that the more you see these signs, the closer you are to manifesting that car. You can see, hear, and feel signs. The way to recognize that something is a synchronistic sign from the universe is that there will be two distinct events that happen very close in time, usually within hours of each other or within the same day, sometimes within the same week. Some examples of synchronistic signs are thinking about someone that you haven't thought about in forever and ages and then running into them later that day, or even having somebody bring them up to you again later that day. Hearing a phrase for the first time and then suddenly you hear it everywhere even if the words are changed up a little bit, the message behind the phrase is still the same. Or even seeing a certain number everywhere. A lot of people say that they see 1111 and the angel numbers 33 and 88 and I think that there's one more, maybe 44, all over the place and they believe that when they see those numbers, it's the universe trying to reach out and let them know that they're getting closer to their desires. Signs are everywhere at all times. The universe is always constantly trying to make contact with us. So if you haven't received one, it just means that you haven't opened yourself up to them. You have to open your heart and your mind and become more aware and alert of your 
present surroundings. This includes becoming more mindful. Amazing things happen when our inner awareness changes and we start to see things outside of our own bodies. You'll start by finding one sign and then another and then more and more will become visible to you until your desire ultimately manifests. You have to align energetically with all the natural vibrations around you and that will open you up to more of these experiences. We don't attract synchronistic experiences when we necessarily look for them. Once we let go and kind of just relax a little bit, they come in flooding. In the past two weeks, I haven't looked for any signs at all, but I've been getting them consistently a few times every single day, which is rare. This doesn't happen all the time, but to me, it does mean that something very big is on its way. We see signs when we're open to them and aware that they might be coming to us, but not when we're looking for them, because when you look for them, you're creating resistance. However, we can't ask the universe for signs. We can't ask for a little bit of direction. After going through your process of manifestation, you're going to say, thank you for bringing this to me, universe. Please let me know if there's anything I need to do now. And if there is anything you need to do, the universe will send you a sign that will point you in the right direction. And if there isn't, it's just going to send you signs that will make you feel like something is on the way. Understanding synchronicities is a lot about your own intuition and the way that you feel about these specific signs. So we went over what synchronicity is, why the universe sends us signs, what signs would look like and what they are, why we're not receiving signs and how we can ask for signs. Please let me know if there are any questions. I will be coming out with one vlog telling you guys about all the crazy synchronicities and signs that I've been receiving in the past two weeks. I also have a few more questions written down that I want to answer. So there will definitely be more of these videos. But if you have specific questions, please let me know in the comments below and I will get to them, I promise. So please share your synchronistic experiences with everybody else below. I personally know that when you guys tell me about your experiences, it sheds a lot of light on my own. So I think that's really helpful for everybody. That's it for today, guys. Guys, make sure you head over to the blog and go on the forums. I want to talk about signs and synchronicities over there too. I'm going, I'm about to upload another topic just for that. I want to hear all about your synchronistic experiences. I also want to know what you guys think about the blog, so please let me know. Until my next video, I love you guys so much. Keep your vibrations way, way, way up. Bye! <laughs>